<laughs> okay. I, I like that I'm keeping track of the time because then I can angrily stare at you when we're close to the 10 minute mark. I don't know if you noticed, but we've been picking up chess pieces that go inside of a lock and to get into the sewers. Listen, Ben, I don't question any of the shit that you do. In this game, because none of it makes fucking sense. Eh, it does if you're a professional. <laughs> Comma the Leon. Ada Wong, Ada Wong. Septic what? Septic pool, septic pool. I don't think I've introduced myself yet. This, My name's Leon. Her, her reaction. I'm RPD. <laughs> <laughs> he boosts her up through that vent, and then she, she... This is where she, we played as Sherry earlier, which... Uh, we skip the scene, but when Ada come, falls down here, Sherry is standing there and runs away, and Ada takes her pendant she dropped. Okay. Okay, It's as opposed to when we played as Sherry, Ada's a full-grown independent woman. They don't need a man. Uh, her item is a picture of her and John. So I guess she doesn't... Well, she needs a man to steal corporate secrets from, but she doesn't need him, you know, to pay for dinner or anything. But she probably lets him. Anyway, uh... Ada shoots her gun a lot faster than Claire or Leon. She shoots as, basically as fast as Leon does when he's gangster style. She also holds her gun differently, you'll notice. It's pretty cool. So you said she's a spy? Yep. For who? Uh, it's not really known in, in these first games, but in Resident Evil 4, she's working for Wesker, but she's like also double-crossing him. So she's a triple spy. Yeah, she's such a... Who the hell even knows? I know she has her own campaign in Resident Evil 6, but damn if I'm going to play Resident Evil 6 to find out what that is. <laughs> Some shotgun shells around here we're going to get for Leon because he's been good. All right. Resident Evil 4 is in Spain or whatever. Resident Evil 5 is in Africa. Yeah. And then is 6 the most recent main entry? Yeah. Unless you count Revelations 2. As no. Well, I mean, because that's a... Is that handheld or no? No. Was the first one? first one was originally 3DS. Okay. And then it got ported. But as far as, like, the numbered title, 6 is the most recent. And mm -hmm. 6 is the uh, action aroma. It, it very much so. So we have to do this same box puzzle that Sherry had to do, except a lot less aggravatingly because we're Ada Wong. Because we're a giant. I want Ada Wong and Sherry to just get in a fucking fist fight. <laughs> I mean, it would be hard to fist fight a little kid that's half your height. I would think so. I mean, if you hit her once, it'd probably knock her unconscious, but you got to, like, swing down. <laughs> if you got to punch down. The hardest part about fighting a kid is the police report afterwards. Yeah. What is the logo on this box? Um, stands for umbrella. U and B. Interesting. And their proprietary handheld system game cartridge format, the U and B is. <laughs> that was William Birkin's truest uh, fucking uh, affront to God. Was proprietary <laughs> media. Okay, we're just a book and a long son. We are. Thomas. I believe there ain't gonna, nothing going to break our stride unless we true some stride gum. And then a goat will hit us and knock it out of our mouth. Jesus, that was a fucking, that was an ad campaign. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Do you bad. feel like we could start an ad an advertising company? No, I, I already secretly advertise things <laughs> in my videos. Some fucking subliminal messaging. <laughs> Buy a Seiko Kinetic watch. Do you remember the uh, the whole the super liminal joke from Simpsons? Yeah, what was it by the join the navy? Yeah, uh, all right, man. Ada, did you I like this scene because Ada throws an entire fucking green canister of shotgun shells through this vent. You don't see her throw them; they just fly through. They're just there. Shit. Then she fucks off because she can't reach the ventilation hole anymore, and also she doesn't really want to be around Leon. Do you see her again? Uh, yeah, like 30 fucking times. Can't, I'd like, no, I'd go two minutes. Like, no, I could throw a rock and I hit eight along. Okay. Okay. Down these corrugated metal? That can't be right. Do you like the splashy footsteps? I do. Look at Spider. Is that Bob and Weaver or is that different Spiders? No, I'm Bob and Weaver or OG Classics. That is an echoey footstep. Does he have fucking steel-toed boots on? Uh, Probably. There, you could see, but I barely make it out. That nameplate above that dog's kennel says Rocket, and uh -huh. the other dogs, if I walked down there, except they would jump out and I'd have to fight them, is named JoJo. And in, in the player's guide, Casey Lowe 
goes on this huge story about how amazing Rocket and JoJo were as police dogs and how the officers would take them to kids' schools for career day and the kids would love to play with them and then we just gunned them down in cold blood. <laughs> there are dogs in here now. Is every dog in Resident Evil a fucking Doberman Pinscher? It's, yeah. Fuck you! The ones in Resident Evil 4 are kind of like wolves more than they are dogs, really. I guess because they're in Spain. They also have horrific tendrils that erupt out of their backs. Well, yeah, that's a problem. One, <laughs> seven out of ten you dogs <laughs> have tendrils. That's why when you adopt a dog, you get them spayed and neutered and get their tendril shots. <laughs> Son, you gotta be responsible, owner. Isn't that what heartworm pills are for? Yeah. That's what heartworms turn into if you go unchecked, right? Tendrils that have burst out of their necks. It's the truth. I think their heads also split open down the middle. It's dangerous. It is. Power can be routed to something if you know if you know how to work <laughs> a ham radio. Apparently, it's a weird system to balance the power <laughs> out that they have here. Because every time you flip it up, it adds thirty six, and when you flip it down, it takes away fourteen. Why is it just a turn the switch and power works thing? Great question, Ben. It is. I'm proud of <laughs> and it. I have the answer. I just fucking break out a 400-page manual on why this is the most <laughs> efficient method. Written by Brian Hirons. <laughs> it reminds me today on the Tumblr. I saw oh, God, a, not the Tumblr. a picture of somebody had gone to a speed limit sign that originally said 45 miles an hour and put a thing under the bottom. It's like an algebra equation you had to solve uh-huh. to figure out the speed limit. <laughs> and people online... How the hell did you dodge that? Making me waste a goddamn magnet bullet. This is, no, not squally definitely. Fuck you. That's going to put me in caution. Fucking squally definitely. God damn it. I ain't suffered enough my fucking life. Uh, anyway, uh, the equation was very easily solved as 45. Uh-huh. But like one of the first responses was, the speed limit there is 720. <laughs> and the next response was just, how did you get 720? <laughs> And then finally, the last response was, here's Tumblr. Duh, I don't need math. It's stupid. Uh, this equals 720. <laughs> Do you remember the Need for Speed Hot Pursuit commercials that just had a, like, it was just a cop sitting, like, on the side of a desert road with his radar gun. He was sitting, like, in front of a 55-mile-an-hour speed limit sign, and then some kid, like, teenage kid pulls up in, like, a yellow Lamborghini and spray paints a 1 in front of the 55 to, say, 155, and just looks at the cop and just, like, throws the paint over his shoulder and gets in his car and fucking drives off. Does the cop just say, well, it's legal now? Well, yeah, he literally, like, just kind of watches him. It's like the fucking cop in the town, if you've ever seen the town. No, I um, there's a co- uh, the town 30, the elevator pitch is just a movie about bank robbers and uh, they like the, the group robs a bank and they like pull over to the side of the road and they're like switching cars and they have their duffel bags of money and they have their fucking MP5s on them and they have like their masks on still and while they're switching cars they just look across the street and there's just a cop sitting in his car just looking at them and like he's, he's you can tell he's an older cop and so he just slowly like looks away from them just to the other side of the street and just, like, lets them go. Yeah. That's pretty much the choice. I mean, it's either that or die. Literally die. Magnum bullets. The M bullets, Not M bullets. M bullets. In Japan, they're called Vega bullets. (laughs) Well, no side pack or SMG for Leon. Thanks, Claire, you greedy bitch. (laughs) Goddamn, taking all the good guns and leaving Leon with nothing but a custom magnum and a custom shotgun. And a custom handgun. Like her custom vagina doesn't smell like everyone else's. It's so ridiculous. It is. It's entirely too ridiculous. There's some dirty stairs. This whole police station is dirty. Yeah, well, I mean, who the hell's going to clean it? There's cleaning supplies all over the place. Brian Irons probably hunted all the fucking cleaners (laughs) like cattle. This is the night duty room. Do you see this room? It's clear. Yeah, I ran in here and grabbed some acid rounds. I can't keep track of the fucking places you've been. <laughs> this is where the uh, Magnum is in uh, Leon A. And Fistful of Magnum, I'm very delighted when I get to this point. Except I say it in a very noir voice. If it? you were to write a play, oh, the places you'll go version of this game, it'd be one page long. Because you fucking run through this game so quickly. One time I went on this long rant to Penguin uh, describing the events of this game, and it was hilarious, but unfortunately I can never repeat it, especially not in three seconds. 
Sorry. Try please. it now. Uh, 